Welcome to Mamelodi Sundowns TV. Um, we're still here with Lampoke Kana and uh, Tian Mabunda, who wasn't here the last episode. He's back, uh, having bought a new chain. Welcome back, my friend. I'll, I follow my lead. I follow my lead. <laughs> okay, two chains. <laughs> two chains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gents. Um, I, I, I would like to believe that both of you guys were at the stadium uh, when you played against Super Sports United. What's your reflection on the game? Let me start. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you for having me once again. Um Dian Mabunda, welcome back. Uh Noru Noru I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, I think the 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 whole match for me was exciting to to see how you know Supersport came with a plan that um you know they executed it so well uh, mm. in making sure that they, they try to you know cancel the midfield. Mm. Um and we did touch on, on, on that part that Gavin Hand is that kind of a coach who mm. believes more in making sure that um, the midfield doesn't play, the opposition midfield doesn't play. Mm. Um, he did that a lot where there's no game in the midfield, but you know, the center halves would allow them to have the ball. Yeah. But at the, at the, at the whole 90 minutes for me, I think um, Sundowns deserve to win the match. Um, um, and I think um, the 1 0 match is not uh, how it's supposed to end it. Sugar? I, I, I like 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 KK is saying that uh, uh, you could see that the target was really to make sure that we do not uh, dominate the midfield. Mm. Uh, it wasn't easy, but it was really encouraging to see how uh, the boys really tried to find their way, uh, try as much as they can to play the way they play, slotting those balls through the middle. Uh, even though it was not easy, moving the ball around, finding the, mm. I like the patience mm. that they had. That at the right moment they were able to slot the ball in the middle. But uh, it was really not an easy game. Mm -hmm. uh, you could see how the, the midfield was packed. A lot of uh, effort was put in making sure that we do not play our normal game. But uh, it was really encouraging to see uh, the boys really being patient and being able to, to wait for the right moment to execute. And I also think that these are part of the games that you need to win if you want to win the league. The mm -hmm. scrappy games, the ones that are not easy, the most difficult ones. I think those are the games actually that helps you to build momentum going forward because of not everything's going to be easy, especially in the last few games. Now let's let's look at the players that actually played for Supersport. You've got Rowan, you've got Omodiba, you know, Mukwena as well, Mbule as well that came on as a substitute. What's, what's your take on their performance on, on the day? I think it was pretty good for me from, from where I was sitting just to see how they, they they were applying themselves mm. um, didn't have so much um, emotional you know decisions mm. you can tell that the boys were relaxed and they they stick to the plan of the coaches mm. um, they were gonna come at, at them we, we did mention it yeah. a, a, before that uh, Kevin Hand will wanna you know try to provoke them yeah. to to force them uh, to make mistakes but I can. I can easily say um, I was quite impressed with the way they handled the match. Um, um, you know, having to to even you know contain the 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 the, 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 the fullback in Lung, Lung a very tricky customer. Yeah. Um, but Aubrey's you know stuck to the plan and make sure that he denied them that opportunity to to go behind him. Yeah. Um, of course, Kevin wants to play behind the the, the last um, the last fullback or the fullback. Which didn't happen in that match. Yeah. Uh, it was um, exciting to see Mbule come in and make sure that he touches the ball. It was exciting on yeah, the ball, was, yeah. and I still believe he can still put more, you know, effort in in his game. And I believe he's kind of a player who we can say is exciting to yeah. watch. Yeah. And Sugar, we we look at the lineup as well. Um, in the previous game against Chipa, Neo wasn't there. He came on. Uh, he started the game against SuperSport, and uh, he managed to actually to score mm -hmm. that solitary goal that ended up Mamelodi Sundowns winning. What's your What's your take on his form? Uh, you know, uh, having a, a player like Neo uh, getting back into the scoring sheet is really important mm -hmm. because, uh, like you see, uh, looking at the games that are coming up, we need all the of the goals that we can get, and having one of the most uh, critical uh, players within the team. Being able to come back into the setup of the club and being able to contribute to the to the victory of the club, it really gives us that 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 sense of comfort to say yeah. we've got a lot of people that are are, are are really ready to 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 lift their hand and say I'll I'll, I'll be able to assist the club. Mm. Uh, considering the fact that uh, when we have uh, so many games playing, you find that you've got influential players that are not in the team because of injury or 
or fatigue. Yeah. But having everyone coming back and being able to show that uh, we are still ready to help the team, being able to, to score the goals, mm -hmm. it really shows the, the unity and the oneness that everybody accepts and supports each other's efforts within the team. Uh, I really liked how uh, you can see how everybody's supporting the young boy. Uh, he got an assist and Neil was right there at the right place yeah. to slot it home. Yeah. Uh, it was the decider of the game. Yeah. So being able to be at that position at that at that time after not being pl uh, not, not playing the previous game, it mm. really shows that he still got the eye for goal mm. and being able to have the desire to go up and down the field is really encouraging. And also, I want us to touch about, because I remember when we, we were playing, it wasn't traditional at all to play on Mondays. You know, and, and to look at the game that was played on a Monday, you look at the number of fans that came into the game, especially after work, because mm. the game is at six. What, what's your take on the fans, especially the number that came through? What's, what's mm. your take on the, the ongoing, uh, on growing rather fans for Mamli Sundowns? When I'm really saying, I think it's so encouraging to see you know, football fans coming to stadium, particularly Masanda uh, in the previous matches. They've done their part by mm. making sure that they attend their they matches. Come in numbers, yeah. yeah, and it's so encouraging to see, even in odd days, like you say, Monday. You know, we've never seen a Monday match in a long time, and but you saw them, the stadium, you know, enjoying and chanting the the names of the players. Yeah. That is encouraging for me, and I think the boys they can easily, easily, you know, you know, you know, thank them by giving them the performance because that's all they need. I like I like I like how they, they they just bring a vibe. Yeah. Uh, regardless of coming from work, like you mentioned, that uh, they did not consider the fact that they've been at work the whole day, and they made it at six o'clock. Mostly, a lot of people uh, they knock off around five, mm. but some people they didn't have to uh, didn't have a chance to go back home to change or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They went straight to the to the stadium. It shows that uh, they really appreciate the good work the boys are doing. Mm -hmm. They really appreciate the, the 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 sense of joy that is they get from being at the stadium. They kept on chanting. They kept on singing throughout the game, and that really gives the boys a really extra push. Yeah. So having them at the stadium, it, it, every single given chance, it really brings a different side uh, to say the responsibility on the players is really greater mm -hmm. than what we may actually uh, uh, anticipate. So having them there, it really brings a smile, not only to themselves, but also to the players to see mm -hmm. that on a day like this, people have come, left everything they could have been doing at home, resting. Mm -hmm. They've come to support us and sing mm -hmm. for us. So like Captain was saying, that uh, it, it, it really... Uh, is a responsibility that the boys give them what they rightfully desire, which is the three points, mm. and this is what is they have done. Yeah, and especially it's important for as, as uh, for them to come in numbers and continue to come in numbers, mm. knowing that uh, we get into the stage of Champions League. Yeah. So we don't know which days you might be playing in, but for the fact that they came on a Monday, it shows you that the love of the team mm. keeps growing, and for the fact that they, also the players are taking responsibility, knowing the importance of the fans coming in, they're expecting good football, they're expecting yeah. results, and I think for me it was, it was, it was, it was so so beautiful to see, especially the chanting, the singing after mm. the game as well. That was the recap of the game against uh, Super Sport United, and I uh, just want to thank you guys for coming through, and um, till our next episode.